Hello, hello, gang. Kim here, and welcome on back to my happy place. Today's video, guys, is a very unusual video on my channel because today I'm filming a small shop haul. Now, as most of you know, I very rarely, if ever, have small shop hauls to share with you guys. The main reason being I'm based in South Africa and so I don't get to shop from the small stores like people in the US or Canada or the UK get to do. That said, I do sometimes order from small stores um, and at some time uh, or should I say at some stage in the future I'm going to be showing you my diamond painting pen stash or collection. All of those bar two of my most recent pens were bought in the US. So I do shop on the odd occasion in the US. I also love washi tape. Um, those of you that follow my channel, maybe you're a subscriber, you would have seen that in the last few weeks or month, whatever it is, I had posted a washi tape video where I showed you my washi tape stash and I also showed you how I tend to use washi tape. For those of you that missed it, I will link that video down below in the description. But the main point being, I do actually use washi tape. I use it decoratively to put um, a border around my diamond paintings and I also use it on the plastic cover itself because I tend to section off my diamond paintings and so I use washi tape for that as well. So with that said, I have placed or I did place a recent order with Amanda Michelle Designs. Um, she has what I consider to be a great range of washi tape and some at really good prices. She's also a seller who frequently has sales. So I will link her website down below, her store, so those of you who are interested can go and check it out. Just a heads up, definitely follow her on Instagram because like I say, she often has sales and so I wouldn't recommend buying until there's a sale because there's a sale at least two or three times a month. So follow her on Instagram and then you will obviously be kept abreast of the sales. But without further ado guys, today's video is just going to be a fun look at what I recently bought in terms of washi tape um, and just sharing basically my latest washi tape haul with you. So right, first things first, my order did arrive in this lovely cardboard box. Um, I am not going to close the lid because my address and details are on there. Not that you could do much with it because it is a parcel forwarding company. <laughs> but still, when I opened the box, this is obviously what I was met with. I have, just so that you know, I have opened the box and I have opened this just to check that everything I had ordered was in there. So if you see a little tear here on the paper, that is me. I already opened this up. But I did just want to show you how lovely this order is presented. I mean, isn't this butterfly paper just too divine for words? I absolutely love it. I have a thing for butterflies and dragonflies. So, <laughs> so yeah, this is just stunning. So anyway, you can see it arrived in the box. Lovely paper um, inside the box and a little thank you sticker saying thank you for supporting my small business. Right, then if we open it up. Now I will tell you that a little bit about this is also how I just lined the washi tape up. It wasn't necessarily like this. But just to show you what came in the box, so obviously there's a little sweetie there, which is great. And then there was this little pack or packet. It's got a whole lot of stickers and fun things on this side. And then this card from Amanda Michelle Designs. If you take this card out and you turn it around, there is a discount code on the back of this card as well. But I presume this is just given, obviously, to... Um, you know, once you've placed an order, you're going to get a discount code that you can use with your next order. But like I say, don't freak out about that because if you follow her on Instagram, the discount code given on the back of this order is pretty much, you know, what you'll get through the month. So that is, is really nice to get that little extra. And then the washi tape was sort of just in this box in a haphazard way. But four of them and i'm not sure why those four but four of them did come in this little bag with a drawstring i think it was just to make things look a little bit different and to add some variety inside the box right and then the washi tape that i ordered so we will now 
take a look at the washi tape i'm just going to show it to you one by one hopefully the camera will focus and not want to focus on the box itself but anyway if i have any problems i'll let you know and i'll take a break but right let's start with this washi tape as you can see there there's a thank you sticker on there so this washi tape i didn't order this one was included in the box as a gift so there you go you can see those are it's actually upside down those are little envelopes so isn't that cute <laughs> not sure if you can see quite clearly because the overlap it's obviously like a see-through washi tape and then the envelopes printed on there so that was the first one that i took out and this is obviously just a little gift to say thank you right and then just some plain colors i ordered that's the make of this specific washi tape and then, like I say, these are just some plain colors that I ordered because obviously, you know, for a border, you sometimes need to have some plain colors, you know, and you can't just always have all sorts of decorative stuff or, or, or washi tape that's very busy. So I just got this pink stripes and then I also chose red stripes. So again, that's from the, the same make. As you can see, those are red stripes there. So those were some of the more plain ones. Then I also decided that I needed a green washi tape in my stash because I didn't really have. So this design, I'm not sure if you, you can pick that up, but it's actually called kiwi, as in like the kiwi fruit. You know, the inside of a kiwi fruit has these black sort of little seeds inside. So this one is just a plain kiwi then what did i get next i got this black one with roses this one i also think it's weird how sometimes washi tape looks upside down anyway i also think this one is stunning i like the the clash of colors if you know what i mean to have the black background and then to have the red roses i just think looks really pretty so that was my black and red roses then I picked up this one. This is washi tape that is done by Amanda Michelle herself. So I want to get this one up close. Please focus camera. Because I really, yeah, there we go. I want to show you how cute this is. Can you see the birds? So this one has little birds, different birds. And then it's got this like overriding blue background. So yeah, I'm just trying to make sure you guys can see that so yes this one i thought was immensely pretty it's quite hard to see the birds you know the birds aren't or don't come out that clearly so that's and it's not because they print it badly just because they're small but i still thought that this was a stunning one so i picked up that then i got this yellow one another one where the design is not coming through a hundred percent clearly even to me um, I mainly wanted this one because I needed a yellow in my stash. This one has lemons. I think you can see there above my finger, lemons and leaves. So this one is a yellow lemon washi tape. Okay, what can I show you next? I got another green one. I just needed some green washi in my stash. This one is nothing amazing or nothing spectacular. It's almost like this is, well leaves long type of leaves and then raindrops falling down onto the leaves so pretty pretty but somewhat somewhat plain but that's okay i mean this is what i ordered this is what i needed in my stash next what would we call this one is this this is again let me just show you from amanda michelle herself and then these are sort of building blocks almost like tetris this sort of design just reminds me of tetris in a way I just thought it was really cool and quite fun to have a washi tape with all these different colors, you know, just for sort of, I do tend to gravitate now and then towards cartoon style art. So I thought this one may be fun to use on one of those paintings. Then another one that I picked up, obviously, oh, I just love this one. Don't ask me what canvas I will use it with because I'm actually not a person who buys holiday type canvases well yes for halloween yes but not really christmas and those type of holidays i've never actually bought a christmas canvas so don't ask me when and how i will use this but i will because i just think it's absolutely gorgeous then next we have 
this railroad track. Another one that is fairly plain but that I thought could be really fun around the right type of diamond painting. You know, because it's very clearly a railway track. <laughs> so yeah, I do, guys, I do love this one. Quite, quite fun and I can picture a canvas or two where I may be able to use that one. Then let me show you this one. So this is just a red one with hearts. It actually says on there, um, Happy Valentine's Day, and there it says, I love you. Now, when I ordered this one, I didn't see on the photo on the website that it had words inside the hearts. I just thought it was a red washi tape with the hearts hanging down and hearts speckled around. So I thought it would be nice to have in my stash for, you know, canvases that are Valentine's Day themed, or not even Valentine's Day, just love themed. It was only now when it arrived in my box that I realized it actually says Happy Valentine's Day and I love you. <laughs> so probably had I known that, I probably wouldn't have ordered this one, but it's okay. I will probably just use this one to section off my, my canvases and not so much um, as a decorative border. Right, then next is this gorgeous pink and blue very light pink and blue with these little flowers on it. Oh, I just love this one. I think it's so pretty. I just think the pink and blue hues that come through on this washi tape just make it look really, really pretty. So, yeah, hoping you guys are getting a good... Not sure if the colors... Well, the colors are very light. Even to my naked eye, the colors are light. But anyway, that's that one. And then we have this one, which has got a bit of an Asian feel to it. So see if you can pick up on what's going on here. So if you have a look at that, that is a tree. You can see the little trunk there. That's a tree. Then you get into some clouds or mountains or whatever they are. And then you keep going around and here you get the volcano. Again, I just love the colors here. I have quite a few diamond paintings that are pink or primarily pink. So this one with its pink and white shades and colors, you know, will just be stunning. Right, and then we just have this as another fairly plain one. Just some sort of, I don't know, what are those flowers or plants, whatever they are. Like I say, again, a fairly plain one. I'm quite surprised I chose to pick this one up. I'm trying to think. I must have or might have had a diamond painting in mind. I don't dislike it. It is pretty. It is nice. But, um, yeah, quite different from my, my usual taste. Then, of course, not different from my usual taste. <laughs> Who can resist butterflies? Oh, look how cool and fun these are. All these different colored butterflies, different sizes, you know, purple, orange, coming to the green. Yeah, I just love this one. The blue and, of course, the yellow. So, yeah, this one definitely one after my own heart because, as I said at the beginning of the video, I love butterflies and I love dragonflies. Right, coming down to what looks like the final six. Yeah, we have fire. This one I bought, there's a canvas that I have in mind um, from Diamond Art Club that is a dragon that is orange and yellow. And I just thought this one would be perfect for that. Plus, it's pretty funky as well. I just thought this was fun and funky. So, and again, love the colors. I love purple, ach, not purples, yellows. Well, I do love purples, but there's no purple in here. Yellows and oranges and reds. So, yes, love this one. Oh, and then one of my favorites in this order. Oh, I'm in love with this one. Oh, yes. Primarily black, but I mean, just these oh, designs, this very, it's very patterned and very designed. And I could just see this making a gorgeous border. So absolutely love this one. Like I say, one of my, my favorites in this box. Um, let's look at these ones. Then I picked up this one, which is just portraits of ladies so this has a very sort of old-fashioned romantic type um style i thought this would go very well with canvases that are sort of old masters type canvases 
or portrait style art and I have a lot of portrait style art in my stash so I thought this one was just quite nice and something a little bit different and I quite like the vintage feel of this one I thought that was really pretty so yeah I couldn't resist getting that one and then another one that I love this one is like tiles, almost like tiles that you'd find in a bathroom or a cloakroom in a hotel. Um, and specifically almost a bit, I don't know, does it have a bit of an Israeli or Turkish or, or that sort of feel to it? Moroccan maybe. I just thought again it was very pretty and um, just had a sort of old-fashioned type vibe to it, but really did think it was pretty. I don't have a lot of canvases that would probably go with this one, but I'm sure I'm going to find something because I just think this one is gorgeous. Right, guys, down to my last two. So, isn't this one pretty? This one is just fun and almost a bit New Year's Eve-ish because it's got the black background and then you see the fireworks going off. The fireworks are sort of in a metallic silver shimmery type um color yeah and i just love this one i just think this will this will be the right washi tape to use on a celebratory type diamond painting so yeah and then gang my very last one is one of my favorites again look at these flowers just so pretty and look at the shimmer and the metallic shine on this one I think it's coming through on the camera just how metallic and shiny it is. And then the flowers alternate between being sort of a pinky color like there and then a purple type color like there. So there's the purple again and then followed by the pink. Oh, I just love this one. It's absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to use it and I'm sure I will have a canvas that this one will work with. So gang, that pretty much wraps up today's video, which like I said, was just going to be quick and fun and just basically showing off the, the washi tape that I bought. What do you guys feel about washi tape? Is it something you use? Is it something you don't use? Do you love buying it or do you just think it's actually a waste of money? <laughs> Especially for those of us that, that section off our canvases and then you cut the section away anyway, but yeah let me know your thoughts below and thank you so much for hanging out with me today you guys like i said this was just supposed to be a short fun video for the day um yeah so thank you for checking it out and and like i say for hanging out with me today other than that guys happy diamond painting bye